something different about the fans? Yeah, there was more than two of them. That's not the point. Did you notice the quality of the fans? Hello, my name is Adonis Mooney, and I am an entrepreneur and a Bravo television reality TV show star. I once had it all. I was rich, famous, and married to one of the most beautiful women in the world. Yes, I had everything one could ask for, save for one thing, true happiness. This documentary will showcase part of my journey towards a minimalist lifestyle and how I shed much of the baggage and things out of my life and how I use minimalism to become happier than I had ever been before. Now to explain as simply as possible, minimalism is the art of living with fewer things. Before I discovered minimalism, I was an extreme consumerist, meaning that I worked hard only so that I could buy more items. When my wife and I got married, we bought a humongous house on the lake and immediately began filling it with all kinds of items, just as society programs you to do. Soon after we settled into our new home, we eventually signed up for a casting call for a Bravo television show called Newlyweds the first year. And luckily, we were picked out of 20,000 couples. For the next year, our life would be showcased for the entire world to see and judge. Now I would like to just stop to tell you all that fame is truly not the answer to happiness. The majority of society spends their time obsessing over celebrities like they are gods. But I'm here to tell you from personal experience of being one that celebrities are just normal people that go through pain and suffering just like everybody else. The stress of the TV show just brought the problems in my wife and I's relationship to a magnified level. However, a turning point eventually came for me. One day, while Bravo TV was at our house filming our show, a package came in the mail. The package was a book that my mom had sent to me. My mother periodically sends books to me in the mail, and half the time I don't even read them. However, this time around, the book and the subject matter in it grabbed me. The book was on minimalism, and it was written by the guys who are known as the minimalists Ryan Nicodemus and Joshua Fields. In the book, the minimalists present the idea that less is more, and that the things we buy will never lead us to true happiness or fulfillment. Their book also presents the case that instead of living a life of consumerism like the majority of the population does, that we should instead focus on things that we are truly passionate about. Everything in the book made a lot of sense to me. Before this new idea system, I was totally focused on becoming more wealthy and getting the newest gadget or the best car. However, I was totally neglecting my health and my relationships, and I definitely was not focused on the things that I was passionate about. I was in the electronic business at the time, and it was not something that I loved doing. I in fact did it only for the money. And working hard only to make money is not a very fulfilling situation. After reading the book, I had my wife read it too. Soon after, she had the same epiphany as I did, and we both immediately began throwing away nearly 70% of the stuff that we owned. We immediately felt as though a huge weight was lifted from our shoulders after this. All of a sudden, we were smiling more and the stress of our fame became not as much of a strain on our relationship. Minimalism, however, was not enough to save our marriage. 
our relationship was plagued with far more complex problems. At a certain point, my wife and I decided to call the quits and split up. My newly ex-wife immediately moved to Seattle after this, and I opted to stay in the big house by myself. When my wife left, I was devastated, frustrated, and extremely alone. However, fortunately, I now had time to focus on my own life, and I needed a drastic change. I decided to read the minimalism book again, and I had yet another epiphany. I realized that I still had way too much stuff. I was stuck all alone in this big ass house, and let me add by the way that half of my entire time was spent taking care of the house. Whether it was keeping it clean or doing repairs, it seemed like there was always some kind of maintenance needed. It was bleeding my money and freedom and left me with little time to work on myself, which is what I really needed to be doing at that time in my life. I desperately needed to heal myself. At one point, I then realized a new solution. About seven years prior, I had purchased a small studio condo in Los Angeles, California. At the time when I bought the condo, it was only about 33000 and now it was paid off. Before I stumbled upon minimalism, I would have never lived in such a small space. But after reading the minimalist book, I realized that not only did I need less things, but I could also live with less space. The idea sparked in my head that I could remodel this small LA studio condo and live in it. Making this drastic move would allow me to shed the stress of having such a mass amount of bills and instead allow me to focus on rebuilding my life and would give me the time to focus on my new profession of being a filmmaker and an actor. I in fact calculated that my bills would go from a total of 10k a month to only 1k a month. I would truly be free. I would finally have time freedom, which is what I was sorely lacking. So I put my house up for sale and began selling all my stuff and that is where our story begins. So it's five days so I'm going to move to LA and I've been selling everything in the house. It's just about empty right now. It's been a long struggle. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. Yeah, I cleared out the house pretty much. Uh, the refrigerator, I sold that. So, I mean, I've been pretty much selling everything. Uh, everything's about 9% gone. This table is so heavy that uh, and big that people don't really seem interested in it, so I might put it on the free section of crazy. So I can't even lift, I can lift this glass part, but I can't lift this boulder by myself. So I'll need some help for that. Um, the few things that I am gonna keep, like I said, I'm only gonna fit, put what fits in my car. And, um, or actually bring what fits in my car. That's the only stuff I'm actually gonna bring to LA. And you see this stuff right here, all this stuff, I'm actually gonna give, not give to Google, but I'm gonna put it on the curb because on Mondays is a big trash day out here, you know, like, if you have like extra stuff, they come collect it. So I'm just gonna put all this stuff in front of the house. All the stuff that's left. The only thing that needs to be picked up still is this piano. I have a piano company who's gonna pay me for it. They should be coming today. But you can just see how empty it is. Like look, you can look at the pictures of the before and after. And just look how empty it is. I've been doing a great job of selling everything. As I said, I would. And it looks a bit messy in here because this is how I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping on the floor. It's actually not as uncomfortable as it looks. You know, I actually grew up sleeping on the floor at my mom's house. We slept on the carpet with just blankets. So, uh, see, I, the TV I had to keep, I put that in the car. But as you see, it's very, very empty in here. And I'm becoming, I am becoming a full-fledged minimalist. And I actually threw away a lot of clothes too. See, I only kept a few clothes, a few nice things. And that's, that's the thing, folks. Let me tell you something. Instead of buying lots and lots of clothes, you should just buy a few high quality things and take care of them, you know? It's like, that's the thing. People buy so many items and you always think you need the newest stuff and you don't. Just make sure you look nice. You know, most of my clothes, I buy them from the thrift store. And I have money to buy clothes, but I don't care about brands and all that. I buy them from the thrift store, use my little style, and I still look better than all the dudes out there, okay? Now, uh, so I'm almost done, you know, like it's, I, it's amazing. The more stuff I get rid of here, the better I feel. I mean, uh, it's, it's an amazing feeling to become more of a true minimalist. And it's so funny, I had a girl come over the other day and she was like, a girl that I'm dating and she was like, what the heck's going on? Cause like, I, you know, she didn't really understand the minimalist, minimalism idea yet. So I actually had to explain it to her. And 
sit down with her and actually make her watch my first minimalism documentary, Minimalism and Wealth Part One, because uh, she wasn't um, aware of what was going on. She's like, you know, looking like a homeless person here. I'm just trying to tell her, no, I'm downsizing. It's a new way of living. Uh, makes you feel happier. See my smile? You know, makes me feel happier and it's a life changing idea system, you know? And a lot of people in your guys' life might not understand and think you're joining some kind of cult or some crazy stuff going on, but minimalism is real. Minimalism is the truth. And I can't wait for the epic adventures that await my life. I am gonna miss th this though. See that lake out there? Ah, love that lake. But besides that, I'm good. I'm not gonna miss anything in here, you know? Life is right. And um, yeah, I'm gonna miss Arizona a little bit, but there's endless opportunities and endless excitement and endless amount of success that awaits me in LA. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, like, I already feel it, cause like, moving to that small studio in LA is gonna allow me to have more time to focus on me and focus on my business because I'll no longer be taking care of a house all day or be worried about the stuff that I own. Instead, I'll be able to focus my energy on self-development, focus my energy on uh, becoming successful, you know? I mean, I already feel that. I've already been taking care of more business since this stuff has been gone. I mean, it's like, I feel like an energy is cleared in the house. It's like amazing. It's like my chakras are cleansed and this is zen-like and I just want to get into meditation posing. Um, in a malaysian. And I'm gonna do some chants. So it's just wonderful. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I'm almost I'm almost out of this thing though. And oh yeah, let me show you. Let me show you one of the best parts in this thing. Check this out. So I've been stacking a lot of money from selling all this stuff. Look at this. Look at all this. This is all this is all the stuff in the house turned back into energy, which is money. Okay, I didn't get what I paid for, but I got about three thousand dollars here, which is more than enough to rehabilitate that studio condo that I'm moving to because it's kind of messed up. It's gonna need some hardwood floors and it's all kind of stuff, and that money is gonna give me a good start to get it rolling and to get like you know little house items and. Uh, let me show you what I've been doing. I've been packing up the car with the stuff I am gonna take. And you see, I told myself the only stuff I'm gonna take with me is the stuff that I have that could fit in my car. And that's what I'm doing. You know, I had to take my TV, I took a couple pictures, a little uh, nightstand dresser, a little dining room table, fake plant, you know? And just uh, some other necessity items like a, you know, like a, it's an air purifier bullet for making smoothies. And uh, this is my lighting kit. Like I said, I've started a production company, started making videos, and eventually, that's why I'm moving to LA. Eventually, I want to start making real movies and shows. Right now, I make content for Amazon, documentaries like the one you're watching. But uh, I got to learn how to use this lighting kit, even though it's big. I think it's gonna come into a, or be a lot of use for me, you know? As soon as I learn how to use it, <laughs> that is. But that's the plan. So you see, it's not that much stuff. And then even when I move to the condo, there's not much more I'm gonna need. I'm gonna get a wall desk, like one of the ones that just flip down off the wall. It's just gonna be a little piece and it's just gonna flip down. And uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be very minimalistic. I think I just need a futon and a wall desk. And I, I might buy a miniature washer and dryer because it's annoying having to go to the laundromat to wash your clothes, you know? But you see, I've been getting rid of this stuff like hotcakes, you know? I'm, I'm doing it, you know? And then this boat and kayak. I love my kayak. But I'm actually gonna put the boat and kayak at my grandmother's house. She actually lives in the cul-de-sac over there. See that last house over there? I don't know if you guys can see it. But that's where I'm moving. Oh, look, you can see some fish in the water. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know, you can't see. But 
So I will be back in November, Thanksgiving. So I will get a chance to kayak every now and then because I do visit my grandmother for the holidays every now and then. So, yeah, it's, it's been a wonderful journey. And uh, I'm glad you guys are able to come with me on this journey because next is the studio and I'm gonna have to get that all set up and ready to go. But, but I feel like I'm making the right choice and it's everything, like I said, I feel my energy already increasing, my vitality, my, look at me, I look, look how good I look, my handsomeness, I'm feeling good. You know, my aura is shining because I'm making a new path in my life. I'm taking control and doing something different, you know? And like I said, I'm still all about making money. This is minimalism and wealth, okay? We ain't trying to, we're not homeless minimalists here. We're, I still feel like money is the most important thing we need to survive and thrive in this world. Without money, we can't eat healthy food. Without money, we can't travel. Without money, we can't support the world and help others, you know? Money is important, but we don't need so much stuff. Stack cash, less trash. Okay, signing off. And just a little update I wanted to show you guys. Because I've been, you know, I sold a lot of stuff, but also I'm having to throw away a lot of stuff because you, know, you can't get nothing for some things. I just wanted to show you guys how much stuff I'm throwing away. Look at this. It's ridiculous. All this shit. If I tried to take this stuff to the place I'm moving to, it would be piled to the ceiling. You guys would think I'm a hoarder. Okay, so I had to, and part of my minimalism is actually thrown away. There's some nice stuff in here, but not quite nice enough to sell on Craigslist, apparently. People don't want it. I just wanted to show you, I'll throw that stuff away too. But I wanted to show you, I'm serious about what I'm doing. I take this minimalism thing so sincere, okay? Just getting started. Look, I still got more stuff to throw away. Look at that. It's ridiculous. I didn't even realize we had so much stuff. Look at all this stuff. It's like it never ends. Another room of stuff. Look. It's ridiculous. But eventually it'll be all gone. Looks like today's my last kayak out on the lake. Beautiful day today. And I'm just enjoying the sights and sounds one last time. Because I'm leaving today. Today's the closing date of my house. And it's beautiful as always out here. I'm just doing my last little kayak. And I'm going to drop my kayak off at my grandmother's house. We're leaving the lake as well. It's been a long journey. But I finally sold the house. And it's finally over with. I'm finally going to be done with this thing. Um... It took a long time to sell, but it finally did sell, so I'm just glad to be out here. No more house, no more uh, material items all filled up throughout the house, and it's just wonderful because I feel like a big stress is being released, and as I said today, they're doing the final walkthrough, and I have to give them the keys, and I'll be on my way to uh, um, L.A., but Actually, not yet. Actually, I'm going to stay in the hotel one more night because I can't stay here the last night. I'm actually driving away tomorrow morning. But tonight, I'm going to stay in the motel. And uh, but at least I'm just out the house and it's over. Whether you'll see my car is packed to the brim, but I'm happy I'm out of here. And uh, I'm on to the next step in my life, the next transition, and it's going to be freaking wonderful. All right. Okay, so I'm finally about to leave today. I totally emptied out the house. Look at this. This is closing day, folks. All I'm leaving is the stove, the microwave, the dishwasher. But as you see, everything else in the entire house has either been sold or thrown away. Look at that. Amazing, right? So long to my beautiful house on the lake. I miss you, but not really. Cause I won't have these house bills anymore. Look at this. Empty as heck. Finally, it took a while, 
lots of focus and determination. I got everything sold and done with. I'm gonna be on my way out of here. And if you look, I just got a couple more things to pack in the car. A little, more than a couple. I mean, the middle is just, it's just amazing how much junk we collect. Look, and that's all the stuff I threw away, not even including the stuff I sold. Ridiculous. No, I showed you guys earlier, but look at this. Just jump, jump, jump. And even the stuff I want to take, the car's already pretty full. I don't even know if I can fit all this stuff in the car. Look at this. It's already packed. So definitely, my first stop when I go to LA is I'm going to go to and stay at my timeshare in Carlsbad. And uh, when I get there, I'm going to stay there about two weeks while I rehab the condo I have in Los Angeles because it's not ready. I have to put, as I told you, I'm going to put some rehab and I'm going to spend the money that I got from selling the stuff here to do that. So I'm going to stay there for two weeks. But I think when I get to Carlsbad, I'm actually going to start getting rid of even more stuff because I got all the, I mean, I don't know. I think I could still minimize it or minimize it down a little more because I want to just take what could fit in my car and I don't even know if all this stuff's going to fit. I'm going to try to make it, but let's see if I can get all this. In here, I don't know. We'll see. Get back with you in five minutes. Okay, so I didn't know it was possible. But I fit all the rest of the stuff in the car. Might not be able to see out the mirrors, but I got it done. It's a beautiful day. We're just looking at the Arizona countryside right now. Um, I just have to tell you guys, it's such a relief to have that house sold, you know, and, and have gotten rid of all the stuff. Everything I own is in this car right now, if you can see. That's everything I own, in the car and in the trunk. And um, I truly feel less stressed out and relieved that I don't have to go through all that stuff anymore, taking care of and having my energy taken up by that house and all the material items. I mean, I truly feel free. So much creative juice has been flowing through my veins and through my brain. projects and the creativity that I produce and give to the world, you know, I have so many ideas, because like, you know, like I told you, I have a production company, Mooney Vision, uh, but I have so many ideas about movies and films and documentaries and TV shows that I want to produce, and it's like my mind is just clear, I feel like I really am going to be able to focus on work, and I still got a little work ahead of me, because I got to get this condo rehabbed. But I mean, just it's, I feel like in no way is going to be as much as how, uh, work as taking care of that house and trying to keep track of all that stuff I had, you know? Uh, it's like I feel like I have a new lease on life. And trust me, I'm going to make use of it. I mean, everybody out there, consider, I mean, hopefully this minimalism documentary has touched you guys and you guys want to become minimalist now but I want to tell you my life is truly changing you know look at my smile I'm happy you know much happier much freer and I feel like this is the start of a beautiful life you know like you just have to take it upon yourselves to try out this minimalism thing because it may change your life you know like I I'm gonna be free. I've already. It's, I'm, let's give, let me give you an example. Just the fact that I have less stuff has already made me have more ideas of like traveling more. Like uh, um, my mom just emailed me yesterday a link to a film festival that's happening in, in Miami, and you know I, I, I was already going to Miami in July. The film festival was actually in June. I was already going in July for Fourth of July, but the film festival actually starts like June 14th. So I've decided I'm gonna stay like on the Airbnb and stay there from June 14th all the way into July, after 4th of July. And then I might, you know, and I might even go to Jamaica because it's just uh, a little short half an hour plane ride. I think, think about half an hour, 45 minutes 
from Miami to Jamaica in the Bahamas, so I might do that. And I have that freedom now because I don't have a big old house and big old mortgage and all this stuff I'm worried about taking care of. You know, I'm like, like I'm just gonna have my little studio and like I told you, things paid off, so I don't have that many bills, so I can travel anytime I want, go anywhere I want, and I have the money to do it now. I'm not paying a mortgage, a, a gardener, the freaking big water bill because of I have all that lawn and garden stuff. I think my water bill is like two fifty, three hundred a month. That's ridiculous. That's enough money to get a plane ticket to damn near anywhere in the United States. You know, and sometimes out of the country if you get a deal. So it's like, like I said, you want to stack cash, not trash, because the world becomes your oyster. You know, I'm going to uh, on my birthday. I'm gonna go to Vegas. I'm gonna go there for five, six days, and I actually have to be able to have a big budget. I might. I think I'm gonna have a budget of about a thousand or two thousand dollars because like my bills are so low that I can I can have fun like that. I'm have all kind of experiences. I'm gonna go see the Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil show. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. I'm gonna do whatever I want because now I have a surplus income of spending money. I'm gonna tell you folks, my bills were high. They're like freaking five six grand a month. I'm going from five six grand a month bills to like a thousand a month bills, but I still have I'm still making that extra money. And my money's going up and up because I'm, like I said, I focus on multiple streams of income, which is what you guys need to do. You want to get rich? Do multiple streams of passive income. Like even right now as I'm talking to you, I'm making money right now, folks. I'm on the road driving, but I'm making money. I'm not at work, but I'm making money. So it's just the world's going to be my oyster. I just, it's just exciting times. It's, it's, it's a wonderful life ahead of me. And I just am thankful for Thank you, Mom, for bringing minimalism to the table and showing me what it was about because minimalism has changed my life. And I know it's going to change some people's lives out there for the better, you know? Life is good. Life is great. And minimalism is wonderful. So I'm about 10 minutes from the timeshare and um, I'm seeing one of my least favorite things about LA. I forgot about all the traffic. Look at this. Look at all this traffic. I'm stuck in traffic, but the weather's great and I could feel the and I could feel the success in the air, you know? Like I, I feel like a lot of good things are gonna happen like I've been saying. Um, one thing I noticed too, the gas is more expensive here. You know, in Arizona, it was like $1.79 a gallon. Here is like $2.89. I put like $32 in it, barely filled up half my tank. I forgot about that crap. In California, gas and every and everything pretty much is very expensive. That's so unfortunate to have a that studio condo that I own out here because uh, rent would be insane out here. You know, even for a studio, rent could be like $1,400, $1,500. So, but I'm here in California. Like I said, I'm 10 minutes from where I'm staying while I rehab the condo and uh, the weather's great and I'm happy to be here. And like I was telling you before, I feel my mind getting clearer and clearer. Uh, I'm having so kind, so many ideas, just, just not having to focus on the house anymore. Even just getting the house ready for sale was like a three, four month process. And uh, it's like I could totally think clear. It's like I'm, I'm almost thinking right now, I'm like, dang, what have I been doing the last six months? Because now all I can think about is, is all the projects and things I could get accomplished. And I'm like, I feel like I'm not going to have, and like I said, I still got to rehab the condo. That's going to take some time. But I mean, I feel like after that's through, uh, it's just going to be nothing but success because I'm going to have the time for you to work, you know? Like I can focus on my projects and my films and movies and be successful without, you know, shoot, all these distractions is wonderful, and, um, it's just, it's just beautiful, I don't know, man. you know, when mama's gonna cry, yeah, you know, but I'm just happy, and times are gonna be wonderful, alright, I'll get back with you when I get to where my destination is, so I made it to the timeshare entrance, I'm just gonna check in. As you can see, it's real nice in here. Ooh. 
just made it to the room. Look at this. This is where I'm going to be staying for the next two weeks while I rehab the condo. And it's super nice out here. Look at this. Beautiful. We have the pool right outside. Look at that. So this timeshare is one thing I did keep. I love it because it's minimalist because I don't have to take care of it, you know? I just pay, like I paid a flat fee to buy it and then I pay just maintenance fees every year and I could come anytime and stay. And they have them all over the country and all over the world. It's by Hilton, look at this. Hilton needs to pay me for this free advertising. A nice flat screen TV. Freaking chilling up in here, you know? I love it. have maid service that comes so I'm gonna jump on the bed so I took a small nap and now what I'm doing is unpacking the car you know I'm getting some of the stuff out of the car because the car is packed and I'm gonna be here for two weeks so I'm going to bring it all in the house and uh, and uh, I'll be repacking it once I finish remodeling the real condo you know because I can't drive around in the city with a car packed like that. So I'm in Carlsbad right now having the time of my life. I'm in here living the minimalism and wealth lifestyle. I may not have nothing, but I am still living the lifestyle. I got all the wealth and all the power. I'm here with the timeshare having the time of my life. I'm in the jacuzzi this morning having a great time. And it's so relaxing here. It's like a whole resort here. Look, look in the background. You see that? And guess what? I get to leave it all behind. I don't have to take care of everything or anything. The staff takes care of all of it. Last night I ordered room service. They have room service just like a hotel. It's very relaxing and wonderful. I love it. And I can't complain, you know? I don't have to do any maintenance on anything. I don't have to fix anything. I don't have to mow the lawn or get the lawn mowed. So all you minimalists out there, don't be afraid to get a timeshare. It's the ultimate package. It's like having a home away from home. Uh, and it's like a house or condo that you have everywhere. Because like, with this, I get to go to Las Vegas. I get to go to uh, Carlsbad. I get to go to Miami. I get to go to Jamaica. I get to go anywhere I want to go. I even get to go to New York. I get to go to Palm Springs, I get to go to Utah, I get to go, I mean, it's like, like freaking 500 places you get to go, even Japan, even Puerto Rico, Cancun, Mexico, Hawaii, and everywhere I go, I get the benefits of a hotel, but I get to own it, I get to deed it property, and that's a tip for the wealth part of minimalism and wealth, you can enjoy things without having to own it and put a surplus inventory in your life. Because the timeshare doesn't take up any space, it's just digital. I just go where I want to go online and I check if it's available and book it. And when I book it, it's free because I've already paid a piece of deeded property in advance. And how it works is I basically own a piece of property and I own like one tenth share of it. I've only been here one night. You guys saw me yesterday when I was unpacking. and. I feel so much more clear-headed. Uh, I've already decided different things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat healthier, exercise more, because I'm gonna have the time now to do that. Like, I woke up today, because I don't have all this stuff, the world's my oyster. I, I have time freedom. I'm like, man, you know? I don't have a regular job. I don't have a house to take care of. I don't have all this stuff. It's like, what does Adonis wanna do today? That's the interesting feeling. What do I want to do? Hmm. Let me see, what do I want to do today? I don't know. Whatever the heck I want to do, that's what I'm going to do. My new life is vacation every day. It's a beautiful rainy day out here today. And I uh, just still decided to go in the jacuzzi even though it's raining. I don't know if you guys can see the rain. But I'm just enjoying this so much. Like I said, I feel so less stressed out, not having all that stuff, not having that big old house, not having all that responsibility. 
like I'm saying over and over, the world is truly my oyster. Even today, I'm just thinking about like, what do I want to do today? You know, like, do I want to watch some TV? Do I want to, oh, I gotta go turn the jacuzzi back on. Right out of bubble power. You know, I'm out here, oops, can't see me. I'm out here going to the gym, getting in shape, eating healthy, you know, and having fun too. And ordering a bottle of wine in the room. Over here having all the fun. And it's just wonderful. Minimalism is the truth, you know? It's like I'm really getting time to work on myself. That's the most important thing. You should put you first before you do everything else because you're the battery that powers your entire life, okay? So, I'm just gonna stay out here and continue relaxing. Hope you guys are having fun too. Okay, so I just drove from Carlsbad to uh, LA for my timeshare to just um, check out the property I'm gonna be moving to. And I'm gonna show you guys how it is. It's a bit raggedy, but we're gonna make it work. It's a studio, a lot different, different than my mini mansion in Arizona. Let's check it out. You can see here's the building. It's not too bad, but the most important thing about this is that it is paid off, okay? So unlike my house, once I move in here, I'll be totally debt free. And I can use my money to do more important things like travel and have experiences. Look at this. Okay. Here's the unit. See, it's a bit raggedy because I had a tenant in here before. And uh, the property management company that I had painted it for me, but they didn't finish and that's why I fired them. So I actually have to hire my own contractor Finding a contractor on crazy. So you see, there's a lot of dirt. Look, there was a mice and uh, roach problem here. But I have some exterminators coming. I'm having them come again today. And uh, but check it out. Look, it looks. I know it looks raggedy, folks, but they think this place has some potential. It's a studio. It's minimalist. It's. I think it's. It's all I really need. You know. And I have all kind of plans. I'm gonna take this floor up and put down hardwood floors. I'm gonna take this uh, fake tile up and put down uh, some vinyl flooring that they have that's waterproof. I'm gonna paint these cabinets some color, I'm not sure what. I'm gonna put a luxurious chandelier up there. I think I'm gonna put like a bunk bed, futon bunk bed right here. So that way when I got guests, someone could sleep on the top, you know? And I think I'm gonna put my TV right there. And I think I'm gonna put a standing and sitting desks right here. I mean, one of those desks where you press a button and it turns into a standing desk. Because I found that, um, that when I sit at the desk for long periods of time working that I start feeling lethargic, my sex drive goes down, I don't feel good, and I just overall feel unhappy, unhappy and healthy. And uh, when I was in Arizona, I started, I built myself a standing desk and uh, I didn't bring it because it was too big, but you know, I felt a lot better, a lot, like my body circulating better, when I actually stand at work. But the problem with the permanent standing desk was that eventually my knees started hurting because it's like I'm standing like 10 hours of the time a day working. So what I decided to get is this, there's this desk called, Evo. I'm always advertising products. I should get some money for this, but it's a desk called Evo Desk. It actually stands and sits like at the press of a button. And just like how the chairs in your car might adjust, you know, you can even set memory position settings where like I press one so it goes in this position, press two so it stands up. So that way I can stand and sit. And I'm gonna put that right here where you see the screen. And uh, I can put a black bunk bed. I know you guys are like, what? He's moving from that nice house on the lake to this crap? Yeah, but luckily my ex-wife showed me how to redecorate stuff. So yeah, you guys are gonna see how luxurious this is gonna turn out. I hired my own handyman uh, who's gonna start doing work tomorrow. I said, it should look beautiful by the time he's done. We're gonna put a chandelier right there. I'm gonna put uh, all kinds of stuff. I think I'm gonna put like a nice coffee table right here. And I think over here in the corner, I am going to put a nice black and silver table and chair set, like my little dining room set. And right here, I'm gonna put a mini fridge. Actually, not right there, probably over here. Probably uh, over here, I'll put a mini fridge. 
and a microwave, like right above, right here, I think. Mini fridge and a microwave. And then right here, I'm thinking that right in the corner right here, I'm gonna put actually a washer and dryer, a miniature washer and dryer right here in the corner. I think right and the scheme's gonna be black and silver, you know? And the floor's gonna be like a nice hardwood I found that's like actually gray. And like I said, I'm still deciding what color I'm gonna paint the cabinets. I might just leave them white or I might paint them black or gray, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to ask my ex-wife. And then I'm gonna put shades over these windows since I'm in the parking lot, everybody can see, be seeing me. So, uh, it's gonna turn out really nice though. You know, you guys are gonna really be impressed with what I do with the place. Like it's, like I said, I know it looks raggedy right now, but I make this a livable domicile where I'm proud to bring people over. And I think I'm gonna take these lights off the wall and smooth them over and just make it a wall. Huh. I think I'm gonna put a picture right there, right above the desk. Put the bed right here. Yeah, it's gonna come out nicely. Over the desk. I might even put a mirror up there on the ceiling. That might look nice. Picture. TV. I might have put a mirror up here on the wall too. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna put that refrigerator. Refrigerator and a microwave right here. It should look real nice. It's gonna look, it looks and the key is folks, just because you're a minimalist, that doesn't mean you can't live nicely. I mean, if I moved in here right now, I think I would be very depressed coming from the rapper luxury that I'm used to. But I'm gonna make it so unique and it's gonna look like a, one of those future lofts you see in the magazines. I'm gonna have it looking real nice in here where it's a really a place where I'm proud to live at. And like where I'm at is not that bad. It's like the location is great. Uh, there's an organic grocery store right down the street. There's a main street and it's also a uh, this place is also like five minutes from the beach. Five minutes drive, can you believe that? So I can still get my water action on. Uh, you know, I'm a Pisces, I love the water. I love it, swimming, swimming and dipping. And uh, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna put a nice sound system for my computer on the desk and uh, you know. And uh, bringing down my expenses like this is gonna give me a lot of surplus money where I can save and I can invest and I can travel and I could put money into my production company and I can't wait because I also think I'm gonna have the guy uh, fix these window borders out here see how messed up they are and they're outside my house but they're kind of raggedy looking but I think I'm gonna have him smooth them out this is out these are the windows in the condo so I think I'm gonna have him paint these over because they're looking kind of raggedy out here and I like that on the whole building, but at least I could fix mine, you know? And just try to make this thing work, you know? It should look beautiful by the time we're done. <laughs> so uh, I have my contractor, Tony, in the process of remodeling in here. He's laying down the floors. He took the carpet up, and it's all looking great. Wonderful when it starts looking like you thought it would. Look how good this looks compared to how it did. It's already looking not so raggedy. Huh, Tony? Thanks a lot, Tony. Appreciate it. He's doing a great job. Anybody in LA needs to hire him. Look at this. It's starting to look like a different condo in here in a minute, huh? Wow. Can't wait till it's done. Wow. My place is gonna be looking spectacular, like a luxurious condo fit for a king. And then look, I just drove three minutes away from where I live and look what, look at the view I got. It may not be the lake, but it sure will damn do. Look at that. This place is great out here. It has women, sunshine, stores, restaurants, everything you need, everything a young growing boy needs, okay? I, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it out here.
guys with me. Look, I'm just parked right in front of the beach. Look, beautiful women every five minutes running by. Look at that water. And this is my new lifestyle. Who needs a lake on the who needs a lake in the back of your house when you got the beach? Look at this. It's freaking amazing. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the progress. I just checked out of Carlsbad today and uh, I started to move all my stuff into the condo. And um, my contractor, he just finished Sunday. I was helping him all night. He finished at about 8 o'clock Sunday night, laying down the last of the floor, patching up the walls, and the place is looking beautiful. All I have left is to bring my stuff in and organize it. So it looks a little bit messy here, but you guys can see how it's coming along. We got the mirrors put in on the closet. Look how good that looks. And if you look, the boards look great. I did a nice little transition on the kitchen right here. See how the floors and the kitchen floor look a little different from each other. You can see, right? Yeah, there you go. See that little metal rod right there. See that? So you can see the transition difference. And uh, I know it still looks messy, as but I got a lot of work to do. My contract is gone, but now it's my turn. And uh, there's just a couple more things I gotta do. I gotta paint these cabinets right here, put new knobs on them. I have to finish hanging this beautiful chandelier. Look at this. This thing, I got this off Amazon. I know I'm always pushing Amazon products. But look at that. I got it about half done, but it looks really nice and looks like I paid a lot of money for it, but actually wasn't too much. Amazon has some nice stuff. And as you can see, this place is starting to look way different. See, I put some black shades up. That looks real nice. My theme is uh, black and gray, black and silver, rather. So, black and gray or black and silver. So, you can see it's coming along nicely, you know? It looks way different than it did when we first uh, came in this place, you know? If you look at the video, you can see it's a tremendous difference. So it's about two weeks later, we finally finished remodeling the studio condo. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour real quick. It looks wonderful, look at this. Look at this. It finally came together, Heather. I got all the furniture put in, and my guy finished remodeling everything, and look at this. So you see I got a TV up there, I got a nice pull-out couch. I got a couple plants. I got a nice cabinet and I got a nice desk over here. I even put a bar area in, look at that. So even though you're a minimalist, you can still have nice stuff. Look at that. Because if you notice, there's not that much stuff in here. However, let's see, we actually got the chandelier finished too. See that? So, look at this. The pictures on the wall that I put up. Uh, this is a scene from New York that I like along with mirrors and Putting mirrors in a small, minimalist, tiny home condo makes the place look bigger, you know? That's a, that's a uh, design technique that my ex-wife taught me, okay? So, and also, if you look in here, I also was able to fit a uh, tiny uh, washer and dryer in here. Look at that. You see how nice they look? So, uh, it actually makes it very convenient, because if I hadn't put this in here, I'd have to walk way down the street to uh, wash my clothes. And then you see, I got a small fridge, a tiny microwave, a trash, and everything's like minimalistic and stylish, you know. And then instead of an oven, I have this uh, convection oven that works perfectly. I can make pizza, cook baked potatoes, whatever I want to do. You see, I have all kind of drinks on here. It's actually a real bar. I can serve drinks when guests come over. And uh, look at this desk. This desk, I got it. Uh, I got this on Amazon as well as the chair. And what I like about this desk is this. It's actually a stand-up desk because it's actually bad to be sitting for long periods of time. Yeah. So look, every now and then you can take a break and you can uh, stand up while working. See that? And I'll get over here real quick so you can see. Look at that. Stand up while I'm working, you know? So, um, as you can see, you can still live very nicely as a minimalist. There's barely anything in here. And uh, you see, I mean, you can just tell from the before and after. I mean, look, take a look at the, take a look at the video of the place before and then see how it looks now. It's like night and day, a different place. Look at this. See, in the shower, I just decided to put a curtain 
and uh, put a mirror and a nice set of lights up here with that see got all this from Home Depot and Amazon and uh, I'm just showing you what you can do to a nice space like when you guys are buying a piece of property it doesn't necessarily have to be in super great shape you see I remodeled this from I remodeled this from scratch and you see how uh, beautiful it's looking so um, you see I put some blinds up I painted the counter I painted the counter black and uh, I painted the cabinets white and they already were white but I actually put another layer of paint on there just to spruce them up and you're seeing like right this guys this is looking like a nice New York style loft or something right so and I'm enjoying it it's uh um Living in this tiny home condo as a minimalist instead of that big house uh, has been much better. Cause like I've only been here probably a couple weeks, but it's like I already feel a renewed sense of bigger and more time. Uh, I feel like I have more time on my hands because instead of taking care of a big house and you know having to uh, take care of the backyard and uh, things breaking in the house and take care of the trees and you know all kind of stuff and hire all kind of people to garden and, uh, and even my, my bill in Arizona, my, um, my uh, electric bill was like $400 a month just because it took so much energy to power that big house, like the air conditioner and you know electricity and all that. And here my bill, I looked at my bill, my bill was uh, $20 and we get water for free here. So, I mean, I'm living a good life. And like I said, this condo is paid off and uh, has a very low HOA of like $50, so it's uh, very affordable. And now I can spend my money investing in my projects. Like I said, I'm doing my production company. Uh, I have extra time and money to pursue my passions and dreams instead of living like most people, which is paycheck to paycheck. You know, most people, they, uh, they are working to pay their bills in their house. And when you guys downsize and have a tiny home condo or a tiny home or you know just a smaller place you can instead spend your money on experiences and things that bring you happiness you know so uh yeah that's that so that folks is my journey from a big house on the lake to a tiny home minimalist studio condo i hope you guys enjoyed the journey as much as i did and uh it's just wonderful, the amount of freedom I have now, the amount of time I have now. I no longer do I have to focus on working just to pay bills, you know? Instead, I'm able to focus on projects that I want to focus on. And my mind's clear in terms of working, because most people who live a certain lifestyle, they're also living paycheck to paycheck. There's many doctors and lawyers who make a lot of money, but all they do is work. They're trying to support uh, the lifestyle that they created, you know, like they have all these cars and maybe a big house, but they don't even get to enjoy it because they're always at work. But if you want a different kind of life, you might consider the art of minimalism, you know? And then, like I said, the case, in my case, I practice minimalism and wealth because I still like money, but I realize you don't need so many things to be happy. Instead, you should pursue your passions. You should uh, hang out with family and friends. You should do things that truly bring you happiness. You know, because material items, they don't really mean anything. I mean, they might give you a boost of energy for a second, but it doesn't last, you know? So it's like, really consider it. Because you see, I'm still living very nicely. You know, look at this, it looks luxurious and everything. But it's, I've done it in a minimalist fashion. This thing, uh, this place hardly cost me anything. And like I said, now I have extra money to do whatever I want. And that is true freedom. Thank you for watching. Butterflies in the sun Little shadows behind up still is this piano. I have a piano company who's so heavy that uh, and big that people don't really seem interested in it so I might put it on. Uh, I showed you guys earlier but look at this. I feel a lot of stuff because 
you, know, you can't get nothing for some things. I'm gonna show you guys how much stuff I'm throwing away. Look at this. It's ridiculous. All this shit. If I tried to take this stuff to the place I'm moving to, it would be piled to the ceiling. You guys would think I'm a hoarder. Okay, so I had to. Part of my minimalism is actually thrown away. There's some nice stuff in here, but not quite nice enough to sell them. Here's the unit. It's a bit raggedy because I had a tenant in here before. And, uh, property management company that I had painted it for me but they didn't finish and that's why I fired them so I actually have to hire my own contractor I'm finding a con it looks wonderful look at this look at this it finally came together Heather I got all the furniture put in and my guy finished remodeling everything and look at this so you see i got a tv up there i got a nice pull out couch i got a couple plants i got a nice cabinet and i got a nice desk over here i even put a bar area in look at that so even though you're a minimalist you can still have nice stuff